to my description below and head to my Gumroad. There's a trees PNG here. Download that image of trees, uh, PNG's images, and also I put HDRI to put into your scene. After that, I put a link below as well about this texture. This is what, where you're gonna put into your terrain. You can load 4K, 8K, 2K, it's up to you. I'm using 2K, it's enough for me. And let's go back to Blender. Open Blender, I'm using Blender 2.19. And then first go to Edit and Preferences. And make sure that you have this landscape, ANT landscape add on. It's Blender built in, it's free. So you don't have to go anywhere to download it, it's just on Blender. So once you check that, and you can see the, uh, on the left side uh, button here, you, you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna delete everything. And then Shift A, Mesh, and then Landscape. And from this moment, you can do whatever you want. You can take your time, play with this mesh size, uh, and play with the seed. Seed is just like a randomized thing, like you can get many forms to it. And you could see Hetero Terrain Blender, um, this thing. It's actually, it gives you more, uh, much more, extra more of variations to it. So if I just change it to um, like anything here, it, it's gonna become like that. So it's actually uh, like a lot of them. So you 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 could, you could just play with it, okay? Just 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 do whatever you want with it. And I'm just gonna use the the default, which is this one. And then I'm gonna play with the random seed. Let's just use this one for now. And then right now I'm gonna shift A and then add a camera. Um, and then a few S camera tilde. And then move it away. And then probably I'm just gonna make it like this. And you know, these terrain can all look like not that very good. What you could do is add some extra subdivisions. I'm gonna make it a shortcut, um, which is control one. So it's, um, if I control two, it's straight, make my subdivisions to two. But I'm just gonna make it um, one, so control one. And after this, you all, all you need to do is just um, go to file and then append and go to that file that I just gave you from Gumroad and find that file and then me I have here Gumroad and uh, trees open the trees collection and then down here there is trees append so append this one and once you append it and you can try to go to material preview or I, I could just click Z hold Z and material preview here this is what you're gonna get so if I just turn these uh, arrows, okay, um, because we don't need that. From now on, you can just disable these, um, disable this. In and right now, the trees append is actually inside the collection. I really like to put it outside, so it has its own collection, right? And I'm gonna disable that and click this terrain and go to particle system plus and then here advanced. Let's just make it 500 just so if you have a cheaper laptop it's still gonna work very well in a few pool and make it render 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 as collection and instance um, this instance collections make it to be trees append so this is what you're gonna get this is still look very weird and let's just try to add some material to the ground what I told you before, once you download that terrain texture, which is the ground texture, um, and let's just click material here. Once you click material, you're gonna get this right. And then, if you have the not wrangler, of course you know, right? Uh, not wrangler here, not wrangler add on. So you just have to control T, and that's it. And you can try to open and then find that texture that you just download. I already have it here. And you know, you can actually just drag it here and then I'm just gonna use normal probably and probably just that's it. And then I'm gonna control, I'm, I'm just gonna X that, delete that and then factor to factor. And then I connect this to as well. And then I could add some at normal map, normal color. To color and then color to base color and that's what you'll get 
and right now if I'm, I'm gonna try to hide first about these uh, trees so you can go to particle system and hide this thing so this is weird right so what you need to do is just go to top view tilde and top and then select this and um, go to edit mode you can go here I'm just gonna press tab and go to face and you project from view and once you project from view make this one into a UV editor and once you add UV editor just press S to scale it up I'm going to scale it to 7 and what you will get is this it's getting smaller and you can make it even much more smaller if you want to so S2 probably scale it by 2 and go back to object mode and this is what you will get well the thing is let's just go back to shade it shade editor and then um, you can actually play with these things uh, the normal thing if you want it to be like very rough or or anything just 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 do whatever you want and people would actually make it non-color but um, I'm sometimes I'm lazy I don't even do that and right now what I could do I could I want to make it add some hue saturations because I want it to make it more much more darker yeah like that and also you could see the terrain is pretty what is it it's it, it, it's so glossy so what you could do is just turn up the roughness it would it would do a job right there so once you have this turn on back the particle system of these trees right and the trees it seems very weird because try to scale it down these trees okay just just push it um, to the max left side because um, the, by default it's max 0 0.010 and I feel like um, let's see I feel like I wanted to make it much more smaller maybe just 0 0.8 yeah probably that's just fine and then don't forget to use scale random so so you're gonna randomize the scale of these trees each of them and once you add this step check the rotation and open and global Z make it global Z and then just a bit of randomize on top of here and then like half percent probably or below half percent on the bottom one randomize so once you have that you're good to go you can make it 5,000 and then you're gonna get that right and then you probably just wanted to make it 50,000 or you if you don't want to get pretty crazy just make it 30,000 it's your laptop I'm, I'm pretty sure you still can get strong with it. I mean I'm using my laptop and you could you could see it's very, it's very laggy let's just make it like 20,000 let's see what what the result I could get so from here uh, let's add that HDRI so world properties and click this yellow color and just press E which is straight get you environment texture and open and then find um, that HDRI I, that I put in my game road so find that I already have it here which is HDRI it was morning tree right so let's and let's just uh, import that and then once you import it you're gonna get this I mean it's, it's really look pretty awesome and at the shader editor you can go to from object to world and with that no not wrangle add-on you can just control T to it and then what you have to do or not right now you just close it back so what you could do is just drag it to the left and it's closed because why you can at the world properties you can setting it from here rotation and then just play with the rotation where do you want to put the sunlight I, I'm just gonna put sunlight over there and once you here you can actually play with this strength here and it's up to you if you if you want to have a really high power on it it's all to you and don't forget if you try and render on EV you know in EV you need to turn off ambient occlusion and, and once I turn on blue holy shit dude yeah I know screen space and also if you want to add some a bit of oomph to your render you can add some medium contrast or high contrast probably I'm just gonna make it medium high contrast not very 
um, crazy for it. So, but if your feet port is very lagging, just hide these for now, okay? And your feet port gonna go back to absolute gorgeous performance. So, from here, what you could do is just um, go to render properties. You know, I rendered those animations just by five samples. You can actually render it with 64 samples in Eevee. But it probably is gonna get me, let's see, how long it will get me. I'm guessing it will get me for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, I'm not even sure. But the thing is, I rendered those animations and it wasn't look that bad, I guess. So let's see, it's finished. It gave me 18 seconds, so let's make it slot 2. And I'm gonna make it 5 now. And F12. And then let's see, maybe it's gonna get me 5 seconds, 4 seconds. And compare the qualities to the first one, you couldn't even notice, mate. So right now, I would like to make some more realistic to it. So I'm gonna add a cube here, right? and I'm gonna make go to the object properties here, and then viewport display, so it's not gonna bother me. I'm gonna make it wire. And after this, I'm gonna go to my camera, and then just go to material. Once I go to material, click plus new, and then click this surface, this green color, and then just disconnect it because we don't need the, the surface uh, color. We, we just need the volume. So click the arrow there or just volume section here and then click this thing and then make it principal volume. And why I'm using principal volume because there is emission strength here. I'm going to put the density pretty, pretty low, like probably just 0 0.50. Let's go to render it. And then I'm going to make my emission strength like... Um, just hold shift while dragging it here and you could see it had that kind of, I don't know, like coolness. I don't know how to explain it. I, I don't know what is it exactly, but it's just very cool, right? So once you here, you, you can try to turn it on uh, back about the particle trees and you would see what's happening. It would be like this. I mean, that just took, I don't know how, how, how many minutes that we just did this actually. So let's just render it then. Voila, that's all you have to do. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.